Your problems taken care of before they become a problem for you. TCB. Taking care of business. Taking care of your business. Today I'd like to talk about setting up a VPN between PFSense and a Sonic Wall. It's a little bit more fun than usual because both devices, um, there are certain settings that don't translate well to the other device. So we have to pick and choose our settings. Here's the current topology we aim on having here. So with that overview, we can see that we have um, this subnet on this side on the PC that would be going into the PFSense. The PFSense is going to then connect to the sonic wall and then translate to this subnet. And after that's done, this subnet should be able to connect to this one as well. So let's jump right in. So here we have the IPsec for PFSense. And we're going to go ahead and click on add RP1 here. We have a WAN interface. We have the remote gateway that was just in the topology I just outlined. Um, we have our descriptions here. So let's see, we have Okay, so we have mutual PSK. Negotiation mode should be set to aggressive. We have IP address, and this one should be set to IP address as well. Okay, so this identifier and this peer identifier should be set to the corresponding IP addresses of each device. So this is the PFSense here, and this is the sonic wall here. I'm going to generate a pre shared key. I'm going to switch this from AES to triple DES. We'll switch this to one, and we'll switch this to group two. Uh, we'll leave this setting alone, but do understand that um, in a production environment, you don't want the sonic wall or the PF sense to be dropping this frequently. So um, decide how long you want the connection to stay open before it drops to create another handshake. Okay, so these all look good. NAT traversal, we're going to leave this on auto, but keep in mind we really don't want NAT set up in our VPN. It causes a lot of problems with handshakes and other scenarios that we'll, we'll touch on later. All right, so we're going to go ahead and click Save on that. And we'll apply those changes. Now, we do have to create a phase two here. So we'll click on Add. We'll leave our tunnel at IP4. We have our LAN subnet, which is fine. Um, we do not need this. And we have a remote network here. And we're going to go ahead and put in the remote network address as 10.10.83.0, which is slash 24. We'll leave this on ESP. Again, we'll switch this to 3S. We will switch this to SHA-1. Okay. And again, we will leave this on 2. Lockdown, we'll leave default. We can have this ping or gateway on the other side, so 10.10.83.1. 10, 10, okay, and we'll go ahead and apply those changes. Alright, so we have both of these set up for this side of the tunnel. We can go ahead and check the status of IPsec. 
And of course, at this point, it shouldn't be connected because we haven't set up the other side yet. All right, we'll check our CDs. Nothing set. And this should be the back and forth between the local subnets, as well as the back and forth between our WAN IPs. OK, so we have the Sonic wall open now. And you can see in the menu we're on the VPN. We're going to be in settings. And we're going to go ahead and just click Add here. All right, so in this configuration window, we have site-to-site -site opening. We have I pre-shared key. We can name this whatever we like. OK, we have our primary gateway address. And this should be set to nothing. We have our shared secret, which we're just going to go ahead and paste from the other side. We have our local IC ID, which is this machine here. And then we have the remote one, which is our peer. I'm going to go ahead to network. I'm going to set this to. our LAN subnet here, and we'll choose destination from the list. From here, we do have to create an address object. So from here, we can name this wherever we like. We're going to set this to VPN. We're going to set this to network, and we're going to put in IP address here. Okay. So let's sit there. Our proposals aggressive here. For exchange. Group 2 is already set. 3 does. 1, 5 times the right shake. This is correct. Enable forward secrecy has to be set for group 2. Okay. Under advanced, we want to keep alive. Now, this is going to sound a little weird, but we do need some firewall rules to be created. And the easiest way to do that is to set this to our LAN subnet. And then we're going to go ahead and use the configuration file we just created. Okay, so we have this our default LAN and here we can set our default LAN gateway so that it's broadcast on the other side. We'll go ahead and click OK. So from here, it takes a little while for the network to actually connect. So you might have to give it two or three minutes. Um, I find that over on the PFSense side, we can force it to connect and we can go ahead and see that our child subjects are currently connected. This configuration is correct, as well as our subnet configuration. We do have to add some firewall rules. So we'll go ahead and on the IPsec, we're going to go ahead and add an any any rule, which is the default. So we can just go right over this and click save. Now for our WAN, we do have to add unique rule specifically for this and I do believe the protocol was I say PK and this is just a heartbeat that keeps it alive go ahead and click save apply those changes And once that rule is applied, your tunnel should be
connected and you should be able to ping from both sides. Thank you.